Hey guys, it's Bang from Up PC Gamer here. So I've been gaming at 1440p, 144Hz for the last three weeks now, um, and that's dropping down from 4K, 60Hz. I've chosen to remain a gamer with my Acer XG270 HU monitor, as um, I feel that 1440p, 144Hz gaming offers a more natural feel to it, more details retained at fast pace and everything is just a bit more fluid and responsive so it's the reason I've gone ahead and um, used this monitor as my main choice and first choice. Um, what I've realized is you only get that really nice smooth responsive experience at around about 80 to 90 frames per second and um, gaming at 1440p with a single GPU even something at the level of a GTX 980 Ti um, with the games at ultra settings still require quite a lot of GPU performance and in most cases um, I don't really feel you're not going to be able to achieve really high frame rates with just one monitor, with just one graphics card so what I'm going to do is run four really demanding games uh, with one single GTX 980 Ti and then I'll run it with both of these cards installed in the system just to see how much power you actually need to get the best out of a high refresh rate 1440p monitor. Hey guys, it's Bang for Buck PC Gamer here. So I've been gaming at 1440p 144Hz for the last three weeks now, um, and that's dropping down from 4K 60Hz. I've chosen to remain a gamer with my Acer XG270. HU monitor as um, I feel that 1440p 144Hz gaming offers a more natural feel to it, more details retained at fast pace and everything is just a bit more fluid and responsive so it's the reason I've gone ahead and um, used this monitor as my main choice and first choice. Um, what I've realized is you only get that really nice smooth responsive experience at around about 80 to 90 frames per second and um, gaming at 1440p with a single GPU even something at the level of a GTX 980 Ti um, with the games at ultra settings still require quite a lot of GPU performance and in most cases um, I don't really feel you're not going to be able to achieve really high frame rates with just one monitor, with just one graphics card so what I'm going to do is run four really demanding games uh, with one single GTX 980 Ti and then I'll run it with both of these cards installed in the system just to see how much power you actually need to get the best out of a high refresh rate 1440p monitor. So that's pretty much it for my comparison guys, as you can see a single GTX 980 Ti will net you around 60 frames per second at 1440p 
at very very high to ultra settings so um, definitely a great experience no complaints there but when you've invested in a high refresh rate monitor you're going to need a bit more power to take advantage of it and um, typically a GTX 990 Ti SLI setup will get you around average 80 frames per second or more depending on the engine as you can see in Crisis 3 the CryEngine 3 scaled extremely well and I was averaging over 100 frames per second so um, I would have to say that's when the 1440p 144Hz really really does shine and you do get that snappy quick response time anyway that's pretty much it for me hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching